Hello everyone. This video is a walkthrough of Harmony's Bitcoin bridge. In this video, I'll demonstrate bridging Bitcoin to Harmony to receive one BTC, which is wrapped Bitcoin on Harmony, and also bridging back to receive your Bitcoin. So let's get started. First thing, let's navigate to btc.harmony.one. And let's connect our MetaMask wallet. This is the wallet that's going to receive the one BTC or wrapped Bitcoin and pay your transactions on the Harmony network, which are minimal. At the top, you'll see three tabs, issue, redeem, and transfer. For bridging to Harmony, you'll need to use the issue tab. So specify the amount of BTC that we want to transfer. 0.001 in this example. And based on the amount you enter, a vault will automatically uh, be selected. And you also have the option of manually selecting your vault. A vault is basically decentralized and trusts entities that custodies your Bitcoin and enables issuing of the wrapped Bitcoin. You'll also see there's a bridging fee of 0.5%. And that's automatically deducted from your wrapped Bitcoin. And there's a security deposit as well to prevent any type of uh, spamming. So let's go ahead and click continue. And MetaMask will ask you to sign that Harmony transaction. After signing the transaction, you'll see a deposit message with the vault Bitcoin address. So you'll have to deposit, in this example, 0.001 BTC to that address. And you'll notice there's also a two day period, uh, which allows you to come back and deposit if you can't do that at this moment. So let's copy this address and let's go to our Bitcoin wallet. We're going to send to that address 0.001 BTC and make sure to send the exact amount because the bridge can't guarantee excess amounts will be paid back to you. So let's click send and we're sending the exact amount and as soon as that transaction is received Let's give it a few more seconds here. There we go. And you can see the transaction has been recorded. And it's now waiting for a two block confirmation on the Bitcoin blockchain for security reasons. So this confirmation can take up to one hour. You may have to come back. Generally, it's about 20 minutes, maybe 30 minutes. But let's come back at a later time. And we're back. We waited close to an hour, so let's continue with our issue. If you close the window uh, when stepping away, that's not a problem. Just go to My Transactions with your connected wallet and you'll see that your issue should be complete. And this means that your Bitcoin is now in the vault. So after we click execute issue, we're going to receive our one BTC. Let's go ahead and click that. Let's sign the Harmony transaction. Give it a few seconds here. Okay. 
Okay, and we've received our one BTC. We can go ahead and check our wallet. And there's our one BTC. And if you don't have one BTC in your MetaMask wallet, just go to docs.harmony.one and check out the user guide in the BTC bridge section. You'll find all the information you need there to import the token. Okay, in this section of the video, I'm going to demonstrate how to send your wrapped Bitcoin from Harmony back to Bitcoin. Uh, this is known as the redeem step. As usual, let's go to btc.harmony.one and let's connect our MetaMask, which is holding our one BTC. And we're going to switch to the redeem tab at the top. Let's enter the amount of wrapped Bitcoin or one BTC that we want to send back. We can select max if it's all one BTC in our wallet. Let's enter the BTC address here where we'd like to receive the Bitcoin. So we're gonna go ahead and copy our Bitcoin address, paste it in. And once more, a vault will be automatically selected, but you can manually select one if you'd like. We have the same bridge fee of 0.5%. Um, it's applied and automatically deducted from your BTC. And then of course, there's a Bitcoin network fee to transfer your Bitcoin back. So let's go ahead and click continue sign the Harmony transaction. And as you can see, the redeem process has started and the vault will be transferring back your Bitcoin. This can take up to uh, two Bitcoin confirmations. So we'll have to wait a bit patiently here. So even if we end up closing this screen, we can always go back to the My Transactions screen and open it up again to check on its status. And that's it. And we're back and we've waited some time for the redeem to complete, close to one hour. Um, that's just the wait time currently on the Bitcoin blockchain. So let's open up our redeem transaction and you should see a confirm confirmation. And there we go. We have our BTC back in our wallet. Thank you.